The Yorkshire Terrier is a bold and confident character, feisty in nature, but also a loving companion for their owners. As one of the most popular toy dog breeds, the Yorkie has become a very sought after pup for its silky coat and devoted nature. In today's video, we'll be comparing the Yorkie with the Boston Terrier, a popular breed of dog known for being gentle and affectionate canine companions. Welcome back to the Fenrir Yorkie Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Yorkshire Terrier. Then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Yorkie. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Yorkie video. So let's dive right into today's video and look at these two breeds, their similarities and their differences. Firstly, let's look at the breed's histories. The Yorkie was bred from a group of terriers during the Industrial Revolution in England that Scottish workers brought with them when looking for work in factories, textile mills and coal mines. The main terrier brought to England by the Scottish workers was the Clydesdale Terrier, which was thought to have been bred with the English Black and Tan Toy Terrier, the Sky Terrier and the Waterside Terrier. They were bred as ratters and their role was to exterminate the rats and other rodents in factories, mills and mines to protect the workers. Due to their small size, they were perfect for getting into tight spaces where the rats would be hiding. Yorkies were also used as hunting companions to scare wild animals from their dens. The father terrier of the breed was called Huddersfield Ben, who won many canine shows and was very sought after stud dog. The pups he produced were all very small dogs, around five pounds, which is the size that was preferred. So he was seen as the foundation of the Yorkshire Terrier breed. Although many agree that the Boston Terrier came to complete development in the late 1800s in Boston, Massachusetts, there were actually many different ideas of how the breed actually came to be. One theory is that coachmen of wealthy families developed the breed through crossing them with bulldogs and the now extinct English White Terrier to create a completely new dog fighting breed. Whereas another theory is that a Boston man imported bulldog English Terrier cross from England in 1865. But another theory suggests that the dog was actually purchased from another Bostonian in 1870. So, all pretty much confusing, but we may never know the truth about this breed's history. But the mixed breed dog, who went by the name Judge, is the dog that the Boston Terrier we know today came from. Through further breeding with other dogs, including French Bulldogs, came the foundation of the Boston Terrier we have today. The Yorkshire Terrier usually stands at 8 to 9 inches at the shoulder and should weigh no more than 7 pounds. This is the kennel club preferred weight and height, but the Yorkie can be very inconsistent in size. The Yorkshire Terrier has been long admired for its long silky coat and doesn't need a lot of grooming to maintain a healthy looking straight coat. Yorkie puppies are born with black which develops into blue and tan coat after a year old. Their coat is what made the Yorkie so incredibly popular over the years alongside their tiny size as from the back of their head to the end of the tail is a dark shiny blue. Their head is a bright gold with lots of tan hairs throughout and the hair that falls over their face has the same golden colour. Yorkies usually get lighter with age and hormonal changes, specifically females when they're in season. The Boston Terrier comes in three different weight classes, the first being under 15 pounds, the second being between 15 and 19 pounds, and the third being between 20 and 25 pounds. They usually stand between 12 to 17 inches at height at the shoulder. They are sturdy looking dogs with fine smooth coats that can come in three different colourings of black, seal or brindle with white markings and blaze. As with all dogs, these two breeds are prone to certain health conditions which can seriously affect your decision. However, these health conditions may not affect your pup during their life or may just happen in old age, but it's important to be aware of the risks to make sure you can cope financially with the vet bills. The Yorkshire Terrier and Boston Terrier can be prone to something called patella luxation, where the three parts of the leg is not properly lined up, which can cause lameness in the dog. Yorkies can also be prone to eye disorders, blood disorders, hypoglycemia, breathing problems and eye and mouth problems. Boston Terriers can be prone to particular health conditions like cataracts, cherry eye, heart murmurs, allergies and problems with the esophagus. 
As I said before, your pop may not end up suffering with these issues, but it's very important to be aware of what they could be prone to. The Boston Terrier is a lively and very intelligent dog that's affectionate and most often has a very gentle and even temperament. They can sometimes have a stubborn side to them, so you need to start training from an early age with consistency and patience for them to grow into a well-behaved adult dog that looks to you for guidance. As with all dogs, the Boston Terrier needs plenty of early socialisation throughout puppyhood and into adulthood to be well-rounded and balanced dogs that are confident in unfamiliar situations with people or animals they don't know. Boston Terriers were given the name the Little American Gentleman in the 19th century due to their loving and kind nature. Yorkshire Terriers have a very independent nature, although they do love affection from their owners, they're not dependent on this. Even though they're tiny in size, they have very big personalities and their feisty terrier side makes them stand out from the crowd. They also need socialisation from a young age in order to make sure that you will have a friendly and confident pup. They're loving little pups that can make a great canine companion. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated Yorkie videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Yorkie Show.